क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा Hey friends in the previous lecture we have understood that is what is the reaction behind the phenol and the sulfuric acid at different temperature and now in this topic we are going to talk about the reaction of phenol with nitric acid so now let's get started So in this topic we are going to talk about the reaction of phenol with nitric acid but we will get a different product if we are using diluted HNO3 or concentrated HNO3 that is nitric acid. So based on this let me explain you this reaction. Suppose if I am treating phenol with diluted HNO3 or I could say nitric acid. So in this case basically two moles of phenol it will be reacted with two moles of HNO3 at room temperature. So at room temperature basically the reaction occurs in such a manner that we could get mixture of product and those mixture that is what I am writing over here that is here also there will be a substitution reaction while this OH it will remain as it is while one of the hydrogen of benzene it would be replaced by NO2 group this is nothing known as nitration reaction and this is how basically we would get another product also and the other product that we would get is nothing but a para product where NO2 is attached para position with respect to the OH. So therefore the product that we have got over here so now let me give the name of this one also so therefore this is known as O nitrophenol while this one is P nitrophenol or we could also call it as para nitrophenol. So this is the product that we have got but which one would be the major product it has been found that is the ortho product is what we have got over here that would be the major product while the other one it would be the minor product where the quantity of this P nitrophenol that has been obtained whenever the reaction of phenol with nitric acid has been occurred so therefore the quantity of this one will be less so this is how the reaction proceeds and this is how we have got the product so now what happens if we are using concentrated HNO3 and we are reacting with phenol so now let me explain that also suppose if I have considered phenol suppose if I am treating it with concentrated HNO3 so in this case that is 3 moles of HNO3 it would be used and also this kind of reaction it occurs in presence of sulfuric acid and in that case basically the product that we would obtain in this case is nothing but picric acid or that could be written as I write it here as OH but the rest of the hydrogen that is on the ortho position as well as on the para position that would be substituted by NO2 while the rest of the thing it will be removed as a byproduct in the form of that is 3 moles of H2 so this is the product that we have got over here and that is nothing but picric acid if you talk about the name of this one so I would consider this as carbon number 1 carbon number 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and I can observe that is on position number 2, position number 4 and position number 6 there are 3 nitro groups that are being attached therefore the name of this is 2,4,6 trinitro phenol that is nothing but picric acid so this was the reaction and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video I hope you have got to know about this reaction and I hope I will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much